Greetings friends. Welcome to Jeb Adams channel. Thank you for viewing and subscribing and I hope that you do return again. Season 2 episode 3 vintage sewing machine motor install on the Singer 403A. In this film we are going to look at the parts involved in replacing the motor. After we go through them we'll do the motor install. At the end of the the film will plug, uh, plug the machine in and uh, uh, give it a little run, see how it all works out. Okay, the first thing to go back in is the motor. And what we see here is the, the motor receptacle. Uh, there's our red wire going to the, the switch or whatever. There's our black wire. The black one will end up close to here and the red one will close, end up on the motor close to the middle of the motor and I'm just going to move those out of the way for a second. When you put the motor in, you want to have the, the terminals or the contracts, the contacts for the, for the wires. You need to have this on the top. Not like that, because it looks like that would work too, but it, it won't. So that's the only position. So we have to get those out of the way. And then what you do is line it into that channel and then just push it in. And, and it's in there. I could not pull that out if I wanted to. So the next part is to hook up the black wire to that terminal there. And same thing with the red wire on that terminal. And those terminals are, are a little grimy, but they're not dirty and they're not, you know, they're not wet with oil or or dust, you know, from carbon or other metal filings. So that's hooked up now. So now we're ready for the the motor mount um, the motor mount cover. This is um, the motor mount bracket, and what it does is it keeps the motor securely in place, so that when it's spinning at, you know tens of thousands or hundred thousands RPMs per minute or whatever in there that it will stay stable and it won't vibrate so much that it causes the, the stitching to be inaccurate. So there's the hole for the screw for the mounting bracket, there's the black wire, there's the red wire, the yellow wire we're not concerned about. So we put on the mounting bracket and there's a little uh, rise sticking out there and a notch in the bracket. Now it's difficult to find the place to screw it into because there's nothing to support it. So what you do is you look over here, right? Maybe. <laughs> and you do it from looking at it from the side and there I can put it right in and then just go at it with a screwdriver and the motor is replaced and it's plugged in and now it's secure. This is what I was talking about. This is the mounting plate, um, the engine mounting bracket and if you just go ahead and put this bracket on and you're doing a, you're looking at it a full face frontal, it will be difficult to know whether the screw is going into that threaded hole or not. So, and I had difficulty with that. So that's what I did. I just, you know, as I go to put it on, I look kind of sideways uh, right there, and then I can see that it's actually seating, and then I won't end up um, tightening the screw. Uh, without it being in the correct, uh, without it being where it needs to be. So I just pass along that little tip for us all. So that's all we really have to do with installing the motor itself. But of course it's still not going to work because we have to do a few more things before we can get to that stage. So, so now we're going to move on to uh, the upper area. And here we are at the top of the motor. This is the spindle 
uh, at the top end of the motor. This was what, what I uh, gave a little knock when I wanted to get the motor out, and uh, that's the geared spindle that came up that channel, which is going to meet with the balance wheel, which is right here, grubby as it is. I'm going to wipe it off because it is actually pretty gross. And then we have the, the lock washer, the stop washer that allows us to uh, immobilize the needle bar when we're winding the, the bobbin. And, uh, and that is the, the nut that, that we use to activate and deactivate the needle bar. And uh, so, so it is pretty grimy in there. I don't know how much we can see. There we're a little closer there. Yeah, you can see the grime. And you can see the grime here too. It is a little grimy in there. It's not all that bad. For now, uh, I have wiped off the, the hand wheel and the washer and the the, the nut and uh, so we're going to continue on and uh, get this back together and then do our little our test run at the end with the electrical supply and uh, and the pedal here we are at the at the work site and uh, there's the balance wheel hand wheel and the the washer and the the nut. I have a makeup pad here and I just want to do a quick sweep in there and see how dry or loose that gunk is. Well it's fairly loose because some came off but there's still a lot there that is stuck on there, varnished on there or varnishing on there. So we want to get the hand wheel on first and then the washer and then the nut. Now before we go ahead and put the balance wheel on, the hand wheel on, I want to point out that this washer has two, um, well that's a little grimy, this washer has two uh, protrusions opposite each other here and then we also see that there's two slots into that, into the, this is the horizontal arm shaft and it goes all the way to the other end of the sewing machine and that's what the, the presser bar and the needle bar and all the mechanicals uh, that occur down and above top, up top and down below they're all powered off of this so uh, so and you can see that that's how that fits once the hand wheel is on so and I'm not sure whether I want these these nibs to be facing like that. I think that's the way I want them, if I remember correctly. So we get that on. And then we'll put that on. And then we'll loosen this screw. And we'll tighten this on. Gee, that's a little awkward. I was on a funny angle. Not funny, haha. <laughs> ha. So that's, that's just snug. And now I get the screw. Oopsie daisy. Was I batting you around? No worries. Now 
there that's tightened. Okay, there that's at that end, and if I turn it this way, it never stops. So that's not correct. So I'm going to take that out. So now I'll put it on that way and we'll see how I make out. Oh, there, I spun it on, no problem there after all that practice. Okay, so in that position, the needle bar is operating. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> no, that is not supposed to happen. <laughs> I did actually find my manuals earlier, or I know where they are right now. They're in here. <laughs> they're not in. They're not in storage still. Okay. So it needs to be like that. That is out of there. There, now there's a little bit of resistance there. And that's tight. So there we have the needle bar and needle operating as intended. So now that is together. There we can see the, the spindle gear from the motor and the gear on the balance wheel hand wheel. So everything is back uh, secure there. Now we're going to replace the top. So here we are at the top. There's the first screw. Here's the other one. There. So here is the end of the sewing machine and the two there's one plug receptacle there and then there's another one down here that one has two terminals contacts protruding and then this one uh, two contacts or terminals have to be inserted into there so I have what I believe is the correct pair here and the one with the two prongs this one goes here
And then this other one is the power supply. And it goes like that. And then I plug it into my power bar down here. Well, I touched the metal and I'm still here. <laughs> That's encouraging, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see if we get a little bit of action here. How are we doing there? Are we lined up? I have to line it up and then move over. Yeah, we'll go in a little closer. See what we can see. Hey girls. And guys, not to forget the guys. Okay, I'm gonna press the So it seems to be picking up speed the longer it runs. Maybe it's not picking up speed anymore. I'll give some power to the needle bar and watch how the needle goes up and down, how it's towards the right side of, of your view. It's, there's, that's on right. And that needle is in there, and we see the hole right there for the thread. And so the way to control that is to go up here, and we want to check two things. We want to make sure that is on the S, not like that. Have it down there. And then to change it from right to center, you have to push that button in and raise it up and let it go. And then if you want it to go left, which we want to take a look at right now, and there we see it is indeed left. Now, while you're looking at the needle, let me put it to the right. There, it went to the right. And then now I'll push it in and center it. And that's what we want. That's correct. So it'll be interesting when we uh, take the motor apart soon to, uh, to check its, its status. So I'm really pleased with this, um, this process of taking the motor out and uh, going through that, having the little challenges and issues that we had in, uh, in getting it uh, all back uh, to go good now. And I hope that this was helpful to you, that there was some value here for you. And uh, thanks again for uh, your support. Uh, whether it be viewing, subscribing, commenting, and uh, if you if you want to know, um, you know, hit the bell button, and uh, then you'll get a get a little note every time I publish a a film. Thanks for watching, ciao, amigos.